a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. Now we're going to take a look at some of the best performing ETFs of this current bull market with our ETF research director, Nina Mishra, who's right here with me. So the bull market just turned nine years old. On March 9th. Could you ever have believed that when we started I know. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The s stocks have come a long way since the financial crisis, mainly because record low interest rates by the central bank, muted mm -hmm. inflation, and the economy has been growing steadily. So all those factors supported stocks. And this rally now is the second longest in history mm. and in terms of percent gains it is the third largest wow and you know stocks are struggling this year so to, far it's yeah. been really up and down yeah rising volatility rising interest rates and then fears of a trade war yeah. they, they they are you know kind of derailing the rally this year uh, but there are two factors which i think uh, may support this rally going forward. First is rising corporate earnings. Earnings have been really good. Mm -hmm. And then synchronized global growth. Mm -hmm. All the major economies in the world developed as well as developing are doing well this year. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is likely that the, this bull market could continue. Now, for how long? That's the question. That's the question. Uh, so, uh, since the bull market started, the broader market S&P 500 index is up more than 393 percent. That's that's an amazing gain. But there are some ETFs which have done much better than the broader market. And that's what we're going to look at. Yes, we are discussing three of them today. Uh, so the first one is by Power Shares. It's called PowerShares NASDAQ Internet ETF with mm -hmm. the ticker P and QI. It holds the largest and most liquid US listed companies. Okay. Uh, notice the word US listed companies. So in, uh, that means it includes some of the foreign companies like Chinese uh, internet giants, which are listed in the US also. Mm -hmm. uh, it has uh, gathered assets of three, sorry, 615 million. Uh, it's not cheap, uh, it charges 60 basis points, but it is up more than 990% <laughs> during this uh, nine year period. So if you want to take a look at further details about this ETF, which is the best performer during this bull run, you can go to the code page on sax.com. You can look all the details. You can look at all the details over there, read the articles that we publish, and you can also use the link to go to the external home page of the ETF provider. And as I mentioned, that it holds some Chinese companies as well. Uh, so you can see JD.com, Baidu over here. These are some of the best performers in the past few years. And uh, Netflix has the largest allocation of more than 11%. Amazon, about 9%. And you know, Netflix and Amazon have been doing <laughs> so well <laughs> over the past few years. So that is, those holdings kind of aided the excellent returns of this ETF. All right, and then First Trust has the First Trust Dow Jones Internet ETF. So this is also, this also holds internet companies, as, yeah. as is obvious from the name, the ticker is FDN, mm -hmm. uh, but it holds largest and most liquid U.S. companies only. It does not include other international companies which are listed in the U.S., mm. uh, like the earlier one. Uh, it is pretty popular with assets exceeding $7 billion, uh, slightly cheap than the first one, 54 basis points expense ratio, and for this also performance has been just amazing, but taking more than 925% gain since the financial crisis. And again, you can go to the code page on zax.com and from there you can go to the external homepage of the ETF provider and you will see that all major US uh, internet companies, uh, the popular ones like Amazon, Netflix, Facebook, Salesforce, PayPal, they are in this ETF 
the only difference is that those Chinese companies are not there. Uh, Amazon is the largest holding with more than 10% allocation and Netflix with more than 7% allocation. Facebook also more, more than 7%. So those are the stocks again which have done so well uh, in the past few years. Um, that is the reason why this ETF has done so well. All right, and then there's the Guggenheim fund the, or ETF that's linked to the S&P 500. So yes, so this uh, this is a pure value ETF. What does that mean? Uh, it selects uh, uh, stocks which display very strong value characteristics. And that's uh, it. Yes, and uh, it uses three metrics to select those stocks: price to book, price to earnings, and price to sales. Mm. All uh, the value stocks which meet all the three criteria, uh, they are selected in the in the index. Now these pure value and pure growth, they divide the S&P 500 index into three parts, and one third is pure value, one third is pure growth. There is no overlap between them. Oh. So they, dis they display very strong style characteristics, and again, the weighting is not by market cap, but by style scores. Okay. Uh, this also is um, pretty popular with 911 million in assets and relatively cheap with expense ratio of 35 basis points. And it has also amazingly do done very well, uh, uh, up more than 800%. Again, you can use the link on zaxx.com to go to the ETF provider homepage to learn more about this ETF, how they select stocks, how they are weighted, and you can look at some of the holdings as well for this ETF uh, and decide whether you know you want to invest in this ETF. Look at, at the sector exposure. Financials uh, account for almost 29% of the assets. Consumer discretionary more than 20%. Energy more than 10%. Now, financial and financials and consumer discretionary in particular, they should do well in the rising rate environment. Mm. Uh, so that is another reason why why I think the CTF could continue to do well going forward as well. All right. Do you own any of these? No, I do not. Okay. Thanks for that. And don't forget, there's always more ETF information on our website, zax.com. To get to it, all you need to do is go to the home page, use the Funds tab in the top toolbar, and that will help guide you and prompt you to the ETF section. With Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.